Um, all right. So assignment for this week, um, I feel like it's probably relatively straightforward in terms of what you're doing. But basically, you're just going to take your hero object and model it. Um, so for the record, I had someone in my last class ask, um, the hero object is whatever one of like, the three main objects you're making, um, whichever one isn't your decorative object or your piece of furniture. Um, it should, theoretically, it would be like the most complex like, show PC of your models. Um, so basically, just model that. Um, get it. Ideal for the assignment is to get it done. Um, realistically, get it as close to done as you possibly can. Um, and again, just pay attention to um, the dimensions of the object. It should be built to scale. And it, pay attention to any details that exist in your object. Um, and then you should also UV your object if you can. Um, so I do have that as a requirement. Um, just my like, silly disclaimer. Um, if, you, if you find yourself not done with the model, um, and you have like, a lot, like, significant amounts of work to do on it, um, I would rather have you just work on the model rather than like, doing temporary UVs uh, that you're going to end up having to just delete or redo, because that takes time away from the actual model itself. Um, and yeah, so. If you happen to be UVing, um, again, doesn't really matter to me, but personal preference, um, you could consider UVing individual pieces as they're finished rather than just mass UVing at the end of things. Doesn't really matter, personal preference. Um, and then just like make sure that all your UVs are scaled properly and not overlapping. So presumably for these um, hero objects that you're doing, unless you're go doing like some, I guess, hardcore procedural stuff on it. Um, it probably makes sense for your UVs to not overlap, because like theoretically, your textures would be a little bit more custom. Um, and then for, those, for game students, um, not a requirement, but you could consider uh, laying this out as where all of your UVs for your object are on a single tile, even if your object has multiple different pieces. Um, and for what to submit, just Maya scene. Uh, if you could throw your object into your, your lit scenes from last week uh, and just get a render of those in the scene, um, it doesn't need to be anything super crazy fancy. Uh, and then also include any references you used for your object. Um, so any questions on that? Cool. I feel like that is like probably the most straightforward of any of the assignments I've given you so far. Um, but just for the record, um, so here's, here's just like a, a redone spiel of my should I make this as one or two pieces kind of thing. Um, so if you're doing something like a stand mixer, um, for if you're doing like animation workflow or doing something, think of something for like a, like a um, product recorded, like a, like a rendered commercial, TV commercial. Like they'll do like iPhone commercials and stuff a lot with renders. Um, if you're doing something like that, um, you probably would want to make this in multiple pieces. So like have the, this button be a separate piece, um, have this space be a separate piece, this top, you know, separate. Um, you could even make this button separate if you wanted to. You could, if you wanted, you could, you know, cut the silver part out. Um, it doesn't super matter. Um, if you happen to be doing like an asset for a game, um, what might make more sense just to save on polys is to uh, pretty much make everything as one piece. Um, if you needed the head to flip back, like this top piece here, um, totally make that as a separate piece. But um, you know, you could like put in the button, just like attach it into the the base mesh here, um, and just sort of mush everything down into a separate piece and create extra dimension and detail with your texture maps. Um, so again, it just kind of depends on the uh, the workflow that you're doing, um, how you choose to to break apart your models. Um, I will also say, um, um, all right. Um, so I just added like a weird little uh, aside in here. But um, if you could just drop in the submission comments if you're doing low or high poly models, because um, I'm just like uh, kind of like gotten into the use of the mindset of, like, oh, I expect this stuff to smooth. So I don't want to like accidentally look at your perfectly good low poly model and then realize like oh crap I this is this this smooths horribly like this doesn't look good I'm like oh because it's a low poly model um, so again if you could just let me know about that in the submission comments um, just so I can you know know what I'm looking at that would be lovely um, any questions on that <laughs> 